Hey folks, in this video, I hope to show you the most beautiful thing that I've ever captured on film. In over 200 videos on this channel, I think it's one of the most special to me, and I really hope you agree. If you don't know what I'm talking about, stay watching, you'll see in the next minute or two, you'll be greatly surprised. The Lar Gibbon is the most captivating primate, and an expert in agility, being remarkably fast when swinging from tree branch to branch. There's also long arms and hands perfectly adapted to the means of slow motion. The Lar Gibbon sadly is an endangered primate, but we'll get into that in a bit. But it's also one of the most recognizable primates in captivity throughout the world. The four colouring of the Lar Gibbon varies from black to dark brown to light brown and sandy colour. Unlike the Gibbons on screen, here's what they would look like with a darker four colour. Their hands and feet are white. Likewise, with the ring of white fur around their black face, which is more prominent the darker the fur gets. The male and females can be the same size and also the same colour. Gibbons are true arboreal animals, living their life in the trees, swinging from treetop to treetop, utilising their very long arms, which they've adapted to swinging through the trees. Their arms are about 40% longer than that of their legs, with curved hands and and very long fingers perfectly adapted for grabbing branches. The Lar Gibbon is found throughout Southeast Asia, mainly in Thailand, Malaysia, Sumatra and the island of Indonesia. Their habitat includes tropical and subtropical dry and moist broadleaf forests, making their homes high in the canopy. Even though the Gibbons are classed as lesser apes, they are not monkeys. Like all other apes, they do not have a tail. The Gibbon splits their day between social interaction and finding food. They are primarily fr frugivorous, which means their diet is made up of fruit, with the rest consisting of leaves, plants and flowers, and also a small amount of insects it is consumed for protein. These are very picky eaters, and they are able to determine how ripe the fruit is and only eat the best ones. To obtain water, they will lick it from the floor after a storm, or dip their arm into a tree hole to obtain water within. Well folks, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and leave a comment down below on what your favourite primate is. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, it's completely free. As one of the loudest animals in all of the forest, Gibbons use vocalisations to communicate with both themselves and to warn others. Let's listen. Males work hard to defend their territory inhabited by their family. This is primarily achieved by calling, a display which primarily occurs in the morning. Birds will also call in a duet to one another to reinforce their pair bonding. Another call is generated to warn groups of predators. These gibbons are primarily active during the day, and at night they will find a spot in the trees where they'll set, you, set and bury their heads in their knees or their chest. They live together in groups of two to six. The main members of the groups are a monogamous pair which breed together for life. These groups are known as a troop. Occasionally, Lar Gibbons will be seen walking bipedally with their arms raised above their heads to keep balance. The reason for this and the reason why they don't do it all the time is mainly down to predators. Once they're in the trees, they're a lot safer. Folks, there is a number of factors which have affected the Lar Gibbons population. The numbers have declined massively in the last 45 years, and it's actually thought to be as much as 50%. The natural predators of the Lar Gibbon would include leopards, tigers, pythons, and eagles. But with deforestation and also climate change, the search for resources has put the Lar Gibbon in competition with larger gibbons, such as the Siaman Gibbon. Other threats to these amazing primates is us, and for a couple of reasons. Deforestation to make way for clearing to create lands for agriculture such as palm oil and plantations. Increasing developments of roads through their habitat opens up new areas for us to exploit. Another reason, and I'm sad to say it's poaching, for the pet trade, and also poachers will hunt the mother, kill the mother and take the infant. How can people be so cruel to 
take a name from the woman's mother, I will never ever know. The baby you are seeing today is a male and he's only two days old, by the way. They may also be captured and used as food. I said at the start of this video, these guys are endangered, and according to the IUCN, there's no list of population estimates available for the likes of Indonesia, Malaysia, and Myanmar. But there are estimates in Thailand. In Kruger National Park, you're looking at three to 4,000 individuals. The Western Forest Complex, you're looking at 10,000 individuals. And in the western part of uh, Cow National Park, you're looking at only a thousand individuals. The Largiven has a flexible mating system. They are monogamous and show some serial monogamy by occasionally changing their partner. There are also some non-monogamous groups as well. Groups consisting of a mating pair with their offspring. However, females may exhibit polyandrous mating system when one female has an exclusive relationship with two or more males. This is seen among females who have larger home ranges where good resources are not so available. The gibbons breed at any time during the year, usually producing one offspring every two to three years and gestation lasts for seven to eight months. At birth, the infants are most careless with a small cap of four on top of their head. Like our little baby boy in this video, they will cling to the mother's chest where they are kept warm between the thighs and the abdomen. Soon after birth, they develop the ability to vocalize. The first start attempts at swinging between trees is at nine months. This little guy is way too young for that. As I said earlier on in the video, he's only two days old at the time of film. We were so lucky to capture this. Was, as I said, it was the first time ever I have ever captured anything like this. The weaning occurs at two years old and females provide the majority of care for the infant. Though the males may occasionally provide assistance and other members of the family, as you can see in this video, other members of the family are trying to help out as well by cleaning the little one. Time before this little one is actually fully grown up to adult size. Folks, if you if you like this video, you might like Google's next recommendation on the lark given the weirdest primate you'll ever see. I'll leave that one on screen there now. Thank you so much for watching, folks. It was really a pleasure to make this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye for now. Bye-bye.